and welcome to Live with Your Chamber. I'm your host, Katie Stice, CEO at the amazing Rancho Mirage Chamber of Commerce. And thank you so much for joining us today. If you're watching, please give us a thumbs up or a heart or let us know where you're watching from. Uh, you're going to want to tune in today. We're going to be talking about education, right? I can't wait. Uh, let's bring out our guest today. Please welcome Pete. He is Executive Vice Dean for University Relations and Admissions at California University Science and Medicine. Phew, that's a mouthful. And it is. Good morning, Katie. How are you? <laughs> oh, I am great. I'm so glad that you're joining us today to share a little bit more about the university and how the community can get involved. So let's start with you, though. How long have you been there? Well, I have been here since almost the beginning. Uh, we're a brand new university and, and uh, school of medicine uh, that we started in uh, 2015. Uh, we matriculated our first class in 2018 and graduated our first class of MD students uh, this summer, uh, putting 62 new physicians into our area. So we're very happy about that. Congratulations. That is impressive and it's so needed. Absolutely. Speaking of need, that's that's really why we're here. Mm -hmm. uh, we were uh, put in uh, this area to serve uh, specifically the Inland Empire uh, and especially uh, underserved populations, recognizing that uh, physician shortages are all around us. Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be about 3,500 physicians that are going to retire in the next 15 years in our area. Wow. Yes, absolutely. And when you think about it, in the state of California, uh, there's 33% of the entire physician population that's age 60 or older. Okay. So we are looking at a, a very serious need for uh, physicians and education. Absolutely. Yeah. It is a, uh, I, I consider it almost a silent epidemic. Uh, <laughs> given the uh, age of our physician population and within uh, the physician uh, disciplines. Uh, for example, 82% of the pulmonologists are age 60 or older. 48% uh, of the orthopedic surgeons are age 60 or older. Uh, you can go on down the list, but, uh, you know, radiologists, neurologists, clinical pathologists, cardiovascular disease physicians, they're all up there around 50% of the population being 60 or older. So it's, it's, it's a pretty serious thing. And we're here to make a difference with that. Good. I mean, we're so glad that you're here. And, you know, it's so true. Um, a lot of folks, you know, they might even move to the Inland Empire or move to the Coachella Valley um, based on the type of health care that we have. And so it is such an important part to every community to have access to education and the health care that's really required. Absolutely. Health care is fundamental uh, to attract businesses, to retain sure. businesses, uh, for quality of life. And, you know, we think about the Coachella Valley and the incredible growth that's occurring out there. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, Thanks to the good work of the chamber, I learned about the amazing new housing um, plans that are there. Uh, I think 45, 48,000 uh, folks to move in in the next uh, couple of years or so. Uh, and uh, But Riverside County is the 43rd out of 58 counties for health outcomes in the state of California. Wow. 20% 20, 20 of your population is either is listed as being in either fair to poor health. Uh, physician to population ratio, uh, Riverside County is in the bottom 25% of the state. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. So, you know, it's, as I say, it's kind of a silent epidemic uh, sure. and, and it deserves our attention. Absolutely. Uh, definitely. And thank you for bringing us these statistics and numbers to really grasp. I think, you know, we, um, if you're not in your field, we hear, you know, the need is there and it's really important. But when you break it down like that, it really makes it clear uh, just how necessary this is and how important it is to support you and the university and our uh, healthcare workers as well. Well, thank you so very much for that. I've, uh, you know, your chamber is doing an incredible job down there. Uh, yeah. It is uh, an incredibly uh, open environment. Uh, it embraces uh, organizations such as mine and helps us to integrate into community, which is so important to us. 
we are uh, we have affiliation with Eisenhower Health, for example, and are sending uh, our students there for clinical rotations in years three and year four. Uh, and uh, we'd love to partner with the community to uh, find ways that we can uh, have our graduates eventually find their way to practice there. I love that. And any way that, you know, we can help, the community can, I think that's a great kind of um, call to put out there um, that those partnerships are so valuable. What are, tell us about some of the goals that you have with your relationship here um, in our community. Absolutely. Well, first of all, we're, we're here to serve uh, your needs. Uh, we're here to make a difference in terms of access to health care. And uh, we, uh, we just understand that while we can't uh, totally eradicate the problem that's before us, it's bigger than all of us put together, but we can make a difference. And that's what we're here to do. Our, our university and school of medicine, uh, we accept uh, probably 98% of our students are from the state of California. And in recent years, uh, upwards of 40% of our classes from right here in the Inland Empire. Uh, so we're really proud of that. We're also proud of the fact that um, of those students, we uh, give special uh, consideration for those who are first in their family to mm. go to college, mm -hmm. uh, come from low socioeconomic status, uh, have bilingual uh, and sometimes even trilingual uh, skills that they can employ in the practice of uh, medicine. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it's all that kind of thing. It's a happening sort of place. I love that. I, I love how... Um you know, community-minded you really are, not just by joining the chamber and getting involved, but everything that you just said by really embracing the community and, you know, lifting people up in order to live their dreams, but also really help the community as well. I mean, it's a really full circle piece. Um, I'm going to put your information on the screen as well for, for those of you out there who want to learn more about the university or, or want to talk to Pete. Um, the phone number and email is there, but you talked a little bit about level of engagement with the community and what you're looking to do. Who would be some great community partners or tell us a little bit more about that so that folks that are watching and may be interested um, will be able to reach out. Absolutely. So again, uh, Inland Empire is our focus. Uh, I'm a member of this chamber because we want to be able to serve the Coachella Valley and we believe that uh, the chamber is a great uh, way for us to have an entrance uh, mm -hmm. into that uh, arena. Uh, there's several ways that we can, you know, serve and actually ask for some assistance. Mm -hmm. uh, our students uh, are actively uh, participate in service projects all the time. Uh, they work with homeless populations. Uh, they are uh, trained by the time they leave this institution uh, in being able to speak medical Spanish. Mm -hmm. um, we, uh, they're always looking for more opportunities to get uh, clinical experience, uh, volunteer opportunities within communities, uh, mm -hmm. and to just uh, be able to be of service to people. We recently, for example, started our own student-run free clinic just about a half a mile from our institution. Everybody who comes there is uh, served free of charge. Uh, and. Uh, we have medicines that uh, are given uh, under physicians uh, 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 subscriptions, sure. prescriptions, and um, uh, we, uh, as a school, pick up any of the lab fees. Uh, okay. But we'd, be, we'd really love to be able to expand activities like that into the Coachella Valley. And I think the Coachella Valley needs and, and wants that and, and really in, would encourage that um, absolutely. Um, are you noticing that um, uh, the folks entering the programs is increasing? Or are you seeing a, a bigger interest and desire to be a part of your programs? Well, it's, uh, the interest is huge. Okay. Uh, it's very competitive to get in medical school. And we receive uh, somewhere between five and 6,000 applications for 130 positions in our class. Oh, my gosh. Yeah which is why it's so uh, important to emphasize mm -hmm. that we give uh, preference to those that we receive from our own area and from our, and not only from our own area, but from those who uh, are uh, themselves from uh, medically underserved populations and uh, who are uh, really uh, the first uh, in their 
families to, to come to school. So from that standpoint, we have a social mission. Mm-hmm. We also, uh, it, it's designed, again, to matriculate people who we believe will come back and serve. One of the ways that the, the community could help us with that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is, quite frankly, through helping us to fund scholarships for these students. Fantastic. Okay. With the, with the, uh, with the need for physicians becoming greater by the day, mm-hmm. uh, to the extent that we can provide scholarships to students that have a service component mm-hmm. associated with that, uh, that would be amazing. Uh, for example, we're, we partnered with the Inland uh, Empire Health Plan, IEHP, mm-hmm. which gives us 13 full-ride scholarships. But in exchange for that, mm-hmm. the students have to come back and practice here for five years. Got it. Yeah. Love that partnership. Yeah. And it's wonderful. It's a, it's a, win-win, popula- uh, it's a win-win proposition. Sure. And um, by the time they're here for five years, they're not going to go anywhere. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's paradise. It, it truly is. Absolutely. Um, and if folks are interested in, you know, the, that sort of sponsorship and scholarship program, again, your information is right there on the screen. But I'm just blown away by, you know, your excitement, your passion, what you bring. Why do you do what you do? You know, I've always wanted to make a difference, uh, pure and simple. Uh, I was uh, in ministry for five years back when I was younger. Uh, I was a child prodigy, which uh, 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 musical gifts uh, no, started really? performing oh. professionally when I was 11. So I've always throughout my life wanted to serve people yeah. and, and to help to uh, make their life's journey a little bit easier. Uh, my, my background is uh, my, my doctorate's in counselor education and supervision. So I've always been trying to help others. And I feel like this place uh, has afforded me a great opportunity to do it. You know, again, I'm blown away again by you. You know, um, it's really great to hear what you do and the impact that you make. And, you know, we can just see the power of your mission and, you know, again, the impact on our community. But then when I hear why people do what they do, I mean, I'm just blown away. That's really remarkable. Well, thank you. I mean, it's, it's a pleasure uh, to be considered worthy to serve. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the greatest enjoyment of all is being able to give to others. Uh, and the need is so great. Uh, we can, we can, we're definitely poised to make a difference with folks' help. Well, I sure appreciate you joining us today and sharing more about California University of Science and Medicine, more about your mission and how people can get involved and Again, for everyone who's out there watching, if you haven't met Pete yet at one of our events or in the community, I'm gonna put this information on the screen again. Please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, We have this video series in order to help introduce and connect the community. So please take advantage and reach out and say hello and see how we can partner together. And uh, is there anything else that you wanna leave us with today? Thank you so much, Katie, for the opportunity to, to be a part of your amazing program. And if anyone would like to come up and have a tour and see how state-of-the-art medical education is, is, is accomplished these days, we'd love to have you. Thank you oh so much. Oh, my gosh. And on that note, um, we would love, the chamber would love to set up a tour. It is going to be so important to bring folks out there. So I'll be reaching out, too, to set something up. Be great. Thank you. All right, my friend, have a great day. Thanks for joining us today. And thanks for just making our valley all that better. Thank you so much for all you do too, Katie. All right. We'll see you soon, my friend. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, Website is still on the screen. Um, I just get moved when we talk to our members and learn more about uh, what they do for our communities and who they are and why they do it. It's just remarkable. I feel so lucky to be able to work with all of our incredible businesses and nonprofits and uh, scholars, you name it. So thank you so much for joining us again today on Live with Your Chamber. If there's a way that I can help you professionally or uh, grow your business, whatever it may be, please don't hesitate to reach out. That's what your Chamber of Commerce is here for. We'll look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care of yourselves. Mm -hmm.